Ever wondered why some trucks and trailers have wheels that lift? It's a sight that piques curiosity on highways and city streets. As you drive along, you might have noticed these large vehicles with wheels hoisted up, seemingly in mid-air. It's not a magic trick, nor a result of some strange mechanical malfunction, but what is it? In our day-to-day -day lives, we encounter a plethora of questions, some simple, some complex, and some just plain intriguing. And the mystery of the lifting wheels falls right into the latter category. It's one of those peculiar things that you see, but may not give much thought to. Yet, once the question pops into your mind, it's hard to shake off. Why do these wheels lift? What purpose does it serve? Is it beneficial or is it just for show? This is not just a question that tickles your curiosity, but also one that opens up a whole new dimension of understanding. It is a glimpse into the intricate world of truck and trailer mechanics, a world that is as fascinating as it is complex. It's a world where every component, every gear and every wheel has a specific role to play. And yes, that includes those lifting wheels too. As we embark on this journey of discovery, we aim to unravel this mystery. We'll explore the concept behind these lifting wheels, understand their purpose, and discover the benefits they bring. We'll delve into the control mechanisms that make this possible, and even touch upon some troubleshooting tips. In the process, we'll not just answer the question that sparked this exploration, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the marvels of engineering that we often take for granted. So whether you're a truck enthusiast, a curious mind, or someone who simply enjoys learning about the world around them, this exploration promises to be an enlightening experience. Stick around as we delve into the fascinating world of truck and trailer mechanics. To understand the reason behind lifting wheels, we first need to grasp the basic concept. Lifting wheels, also known as lift axles, are additional wheels on trucks and trailers that can be lowered or lifted off the ground. These aren't just fancy additions to make the vehicle look more impressive, they serve a very important function. The key to comprehending lifting wheels lies in understanding the components that make them work. The most crucial of these components are the axle and the hydraulics. The axle is the rod passing through the center of the wheel, allowing it to rotate. The hydraulics, on the other hand, are responsible for the actual lifting and lowering of these wheels. The axle of the lifting wheel is connected to a hydraulic cylinder, a device that uses pressurized hydraulic fluid to produce linear motion or force. When the cylinder is activated, it either pushes the axle down, lowering the wheel to the ground, or pulls it up, lifting the wheel off the ground. However, the magic of lifting wheels doesn't stop at the hydraulics. There's also the matter of the suspension system. This system is designed to support the weight of the vehicle, absorb road shocks, and ensure the wheels remain in contact with the road for as long as possible. When lifting wheels are lowered, the suspension system has to adjust to accommodate the additional weight and maintain balance. So, fundamentally, lifting wheels are all about balance and weight distribution. They are lowered when the vehicle needs to carry heavier loads, spreading the weight over more wheels and reducing the strain on each individual wheel and tire. When the load is lighter, the lifting wheels are raised, reducing unnecessary wear and tear on them and improving the vehicle's fuel efficiency. Now that we understand what lifting wheels are and how they function, let's delve deeper. Let's explore why trucks and trailers employ them and how these unique wheels contribute to the efficiency and longevity of these heavy-duty vehicles. Trucks and trailers are not just about transporting goods, they're about doing it efficiently and economically. This efficiency and economy are precisely what lifting wheels bring to the table. When we discuss the benefits of lifting wheels, three key advantages stand out. Fuel efficiency, reduced tire wear, and increased maneuverability. Let's start with fuel efficiency. When a truck or trailer isn't fully loaded, lifting wheels can be raised off the road. This reduces the surface area in contact with the road, which in turn decreases friction. As a result, the vehicle consumes less fuel. This is a significant benefit considering the fact that fuel is one of the biggest operating costs for trucking companies. By reducing fuel consumption, lifting wheels directly contribute to saving money. Next up is the advantage of reduced tire wear. Just as lifting wheels decrease friction, they also reduce wear and tear on the tires. When the lifting wheels are raised, Fewer tires are in contact with the road, slowing down the wear process. This means tires last longer and need to be replaced less frequently, further contributing to cost savings. The third benefit is increased maneuverability. 
Lifting wheels when raised make the wheelbase of the truck or trailer shorter. This makes it easier for drivers to navigate tight corners and maneuver in constrained spaces. It's like having a compact car's agility in a heavy-duty truck. These benefits aren't just about saving money, they also have environmental implications. Less fuel consumption means fewer carbon emissions. Reduced tire wear means fewer tires ending up in landfills. So by using lifting wheels, trucking companies are not only saving costs, but also contributing to environmental sustainability. Clearly, lifting wheels aren't just for show. They serve a significant purpose. But how do drivers control them? Let's find out in the next scene. The control of lifting wheels is in the hands of the one behind the wheel, the driver. Now let's delve into how exactly this control mechanism works, shall we? The magic lies in a small, unassuming gadget within the driver's cab, a switch. Yes, you heard it right. A straightforward, simple switch. This in-cab switch, when activated, triggers the lifting wheel mechanism. When the driver flips the switch, the hydraulic or pneumatic system springs into action, lifting the wheels off the ground. It's a system that's as fascinating as it is practical. But when do drivers decide to lift these wheels? Well, it's all about the load. When the truck or trailer isn't fully loaded, the driver may opt to lift the wheels. Doing so reduces unnecessary friction on the road, saving fuel and reducing wear on the tires. It's a small decision that can lead to significant savings over time, especially for long-haul truckers. Now let's imagine a scenario. The driver is navigating a tight turn in a narrow street, a situation not uncommon in city driving. Here, the lifting wheels come into play again. Lifting the wheels shortens the wheelbase of the vehicle, making those tight turns less of a hair-raising experience and more of a smooth maneuver. It's a simple action that can make a world of difference when it comes to navigating tricky roads. So as you can see, the control of lifting wheels is no sci-fi wizardry, but an ingenious blend of technology and driver skill. It's a testament to the remarkable innovations in the world of transportation, making the lives of drivers easier and the journey of goods more efficient. But as with any technology, there's always a chance of things not going according to plan. So, the control of lifting wheels is a blend of technology and driver skill. But what happens if things go wrong? Well, that's a story for the next scene. Stay tuned. Like any mechanical system, lifting wheels aren't immune to problems. Now let's dive into some common issues that might occur with these lifting wheels. One of the most common issues is a hydraulic failure. Hydraulics are the lifeblood of lifting wheels, providing the power to lift these hefty wheels. So when a hydraulic system fails, it can spell trouble. But don't worry, it's not the end of the world. Hydraulic issues are usually caused by leaks or blockages in the system and can be fixed by replacing or repairing the faulty components. Another common problem is a failure in the control mechanism. This can be due to a variety of reasons, including electrical issues or software glitches. If the control mechanism fails, the driver may not be able to lift or lower the wheels as needed. This can be a serious problem, especially when carrying heavy loads. But again, this is typically a fixable issue. A skilled technician can diagnose the problem and then either repair or replace the faulty part. And then there's the issue of wear and tear. Like any other part of a truck or trailer, lifting wheels are subject to wear and tear over time. This can lead to decreased performance and eventually failure. Regular maintenance is crucial to prevent this. Regular inspections can catch any potential problems early before they become major issues. And routine maintenance, like lubricating moving parts and replacing worn out components, can keep the system running smoothly. So how do we address these issues? Well, the first step is always diagnosis. Understanding the problem is half the battle. Then it's a matter of having the right tools and the right skills to fix it. And of course, prevention is better than cure. Regular maintenance and inspections can go a long way in preventing these issues in the first place. In conclusion, the world of lifting wheels is as fascinating as it is intricate. We hope this video has given you a new appreciation for the hard work that goes into making these incredible machines work so efficiently. Remember, the next time you see a truck or trailer lifting its wheels, you're witnessing a marvel of engineering and a testament to the ingenuity of human invention. We hope this deep dive into the world of lifting wheels has been as enlightening for you as it has been for us to research and share. We hope you've enjoyed this trip as much as we have. As always, we're eager to hear your thoughts. Do you have any questions about lifting wheels? Any experiences you'd like to share? We'd love to hear from you. So please leave a comment below 
And before we sign off, a quick reminder. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Sharing the video with your friends helps us reach more people and continue providing content like this. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll never miss our future videos. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We look forward to bringing you more insights into the world we live in and continue to ask. Ever wonder? Um... Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and as always, stay safe on the road. Thanks for watching.